What's up guys, Shane Storms with Droid Modder X, and I'm going to show you how to root any Android device. This is Kingroot 4.0. As you guys can see, if you head to the website, kingroot.net slash root, it is a Chinese website, so this is a Chinese application. Being that this is totally proprietary, they're not releasing source, and this is kind of iffy as to what exactly is being done here. Yes, it is rooting your device. But it's also been stated that they are collecting IMEI numbers, so one person joked that they're building an army of Note 4, Galaxy S6, knockoff phones that include real IMEI numbers. Who knows what's really going on there? Uh, as you guys probably remember, Kingo Root uh, was an application that installed a camera app. People freaked out and thought that that camera app was maliciously recording them. Uh, but it turned out that that was just an exploit that they used in order to gain root. Uh, so there's really no telling what's going on with this root application since source has not been released and won't be released. So you'll have to do this at your own risk. That being said, this is a simple one-click root method that should work for any Android device, uh, Lollipop 5.1 or earlier. And I imagine that this will be updated when newer versions of Android come out. So this is the first one-click root method for Android 5.1 Lollipop. We'll go ahead and download the application. Just click the blue button here that's going to download the app. Okay, as soon as the download is complete, we'll go ahead and install the application. you have to go into your settings, and you will have to enable unknown sources. Okay, then you can install King Root. So if we look at permissions, it says it needs to, uh, it says that it needs to read your phone status and identity, take pictures and videos, uh, read your contacts, and modify or delete the contents of your USB storage. Uh, read the contents of your USB storage. So. All that being said, do this at your own risk. These are the permissions that it requires. This is the Verizon Note 4. So you guys can see this is the Verizon Note 4. And this has not had a root method for six months. But King Root is said to be able to root. So we'll go ahead and install. Okay, the app is installed. We'll go ahead and... Okay, so we'll open King Root. And we will tap the root button. It's going to go ahead and root our device. Once it's finished running, you'll notice that you have the King User application. This is going to give you root permissions. So we'll go ahead and download the Root Checker application. Okay, we'll go ahead and open up Root Checker. First, uh, we'll open up the King User app. Okay, Root Authorizations here. Uh, you can either set it for the application or you can tell it to prompt you. Okay, so we'll open up Root Checker, verify root. Okay, it says that we have root access. It's asking if we want to allow or deny root access. We'll go ahead and allow root access. It says, congratulations, root access is properly installed on this device. So guys, this is the quick and easy one-click method for rooting the Verizon Note 4 and any other Android device that has Lollipop or an earlier build of Android. Like I said before, use this at your own risk. If you are a Verizon Note 4 user, there's currently a developer on XDA that is, uh, that is developing a safer method of rooting your device uh, for the Note 4, which includes basically flashing a pre-rooted ROM that includes Super SU versus the King user application. Uh, so you may want to hold off on that, and I'll be sure to include a link in the description for that as well. If you do happen to be a Verizon Note 4 user, I'll have another video uh, showing you how to do that method as well later on. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.